top flank and was able to clean that up. For now though, oh, hello, quick scope, oh, double kill, lunchbox, well, right, triple kill for Royal 2, are you kidding me? What was that? Just proving their worth here as a squad there. I mean, about it's to knock out Team Liquid. Man. It is. It's not a steak. Well, no, it, uh, now it's it is. It's not a no. steak. Oh yeah. my goodness. Though. But it <laughs> is delicious, baby. Double kills coming in from no, Luke. Don't do. Oh! Oh! oh, oh send them home! Send That's them home! That's the way to send them home. Here comes all of CLG. How is Boo Boo going to deal with this using his camo? You know, this was a good play. He realized they weren't going to be able to, to get bottom mid. He wasn't going to be able to stop it. So he's going to get camo, pick up a kill. If he can stay alive here, this is going to be huge for Denial. And they'll be able to sandwich these players and regain control of bottom mid. That's what he's doing. He does have camo. He doesn't really need to be in here right now. So actually, they're going to cap it really quick with three players in here. Uh, great play by Boo Boo. So honestly, I mean, that shows even though he's a new young gun, he thought out the entire strategic play there to, to leave bottom mid, go for camo. Very good strategy. These players have no clue what's going on right now. This is a veteran play right here out of a young gun. Wow. Incredible double kill by Boo Boo Doo Boo. What ridiculous stuff we are seeing from Boo Boo Doo Boo. And look at your score, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to point it out right here. Quindo Hoyo put this thing into our game, and it is the nading, right? You can you can do the combat evolved. You can throw the nade at the sniper, and then it will launch right to you. So you saw Royal 2 just kind of get it out of the hands of the enemy right there, right? Mm -hmm. He just made sure that it got off the weapon pad, and now there it is. Two kills for Royal 2 <laughs> as he gets the sniper and goes for the nose. Oh, oh my god! Already. I'm this so glad, shot. man. I'm so glad. I have so much faith in this man. When he tells me he's going to get an overkill, I know he's getting an overkill. And yeah, they're game. already running the flag they back are. to their That's base. It's absolutely right there. And there's a rec pack for you guys. That no scope <laughs> just starting it off right. But we're it's back on par with Royal oh, oh, my oh my god! god. Triple kill! Triple kill! Oh my god! We, we, see it away. Away. we just start off Championship Sunday! Royal 2! <laughs> you absolute god! I'm, I'm done! I'm done! Let's and just walk the out the menu. Cap. Just it, get, give him the win! Give him the money now! Give him the money now! Are you freaking kidding? 2 0 waiting for the next one. Wow, great. I mean, just all around. Just hitting everything! Oh, no god. scope! <laughs> no scope! He is oh, not god. stopping. No one god, can. Calm me down! Calm me down! I I'm can't! A, I'm a, I'm yeah, a Royal fit, 2 is just gonna keep getting you pumped as he starts <laughs> running the flag. I, I'm sorry. I I Renegades fans, I love you guys. It's You're awesome. Now. But Royal 2 sniper rifle. Let's just call it. I, it's, it Let's he just, just call doesn't it. miss. I, I mean, you have to expect. Let's just call oh it. my god! Can we just call it? Good, yeah, I think we probably should. <laughs> I mean, this is the perfect setup to, to try and run that flag. Royal 2 just completely locking it down. Meanwhile, the flag was pulled. It is currently on and, bridge. And Royal oh 2 is just going to peek out. I mean, what did he have for breakfast? Because I want it, man. Like, I just want he what he had. He almost did that no scope right there. So that gets the distraction medal on. I, I think he he may have heard how like hyped the crowd. Oh, was. are you? <laughs> Royal two, stop no, it! Stop and he's it right in now because he knows he cannot lose Walshy. I hate you, but I have to say it. <laughs> this guy is just completely and lethal. Falling. That's three down. This is all denial as Hook again, bottom center, locking it down with Contra. The double, the hoop champ, the victory here in three, two, one. Hoop had some clutch plays to finish the game off right there. Two players taken down from CLG. Can Denial get a flag run started here? Snakebite picks up a clutch kill on Contra to even the playing field and one on Fred. Going nice. for the triple. Yes, Snakebite does it. Hits the triple kill. Three down for Denial. PJ. Get the overkill. Snakebite just on fire right now. Hitting absolutely everything. Get control of camo. He's going to do a nice job at staying alive. Super sneaky. Can he get it though? No, he's not going to be able to. Three players from CLG are going to capture the yard. Yard? Or, sorry, not the yard, the nest. All good, my friend. CLG's going to get the nest, but Contra going to get the reversal. Now he's going to be clamoring, and here's a rec pack for you all to celebrate that one. They got Seops. They currently have two sniper rifles in hand. Doesn't get that initial kill. We're going to see. Oh, splatters. Snipe down Brid. Oh, my word. Another Blaney splattered across the walls. You've got Buck controlling the spawn over here, but they spawned over on the pink side of the map. They did not block the pink spawn right there. I would have loved to see I the run. I would have loved 
Lethal picking up the trouble. Oh, and the overkill lethal. from Lethal going in strong, getting the flag return on top of the overkill. Huge play by Lethal. There's only 45 seconds left. They need to make a push in. Contra is getting so many slays, but no one on his team is able to get into his base and stay alive. Someone from his team has got to make a move right now, Golden Boy. And a big play here. Contra's able to get the kill. 33 seconds on the clock, guys. If Denial's going to do something, now is the time. Going top mid. They have the flag. It seems uh, the red flag is away from base. They have it on the other side. And a beautiful shot from Contra, who finds Ace. And this could very well be the tying flag. Contra moves it forward. And yes, indeed, folks, we're going to an overtime. Thanks to Contra, the young man from Michigan, absolutely slaying. Dubu Dubu with a nice flank. He knows the flag is grabbed. He's just going to stay alive. He's got rockets right now. He's going to pick the flag up. Oh. Look at this play, Golden Boy. He's just going to sleep oh and hide right now. Yes, he does have rockets. Nobody oh knows where goodness. he is, but they are not able to cap when that timer goes down. That is going to be the game. Oh, Dubu wow. Dubu making what another play. veteran play. So Suspector is going to have to lock down this part of the map and get some key kills if they want to stop the CLG run. This is a big play here. Finds the flag carrier. Can he stay alive? He does, man to do so picking up two they are going to get the return with wow. quickness and, and wow bravo what a start i have to say suspector actually got behind the clg sniper push just now so they did not know that he was there with an smg they were not able to get the flag suspector kill. here comes going the for the triple kill what a play from suspector gets the headshot but a player in front of him will be lethal the defiant oh, one is clearing out that snipe on tower two now they have to just put some progress forward, and Frosty's going to do what he can with it. Tries to go in for that body shot, and he doesn't get the kill with the grenade, but Royal 2 and CLG are opting to push outside. This is something you don't see. What a shot from, oh my goodness, Frosty, the young man coming out huge with a double. They know he's got the sniper. They know he needs to die, and eventually he is taken down, and so is Common Lee as we jump on board with him. Oh, and then gets the first back on the earth. I saw it happening. I switched over. I'm so glad that happened, Gaskin. Oh my god. I'm lost for words. Enigma 6 trying to make this route happen once again. There is a player down on Optic. Now two down for Enigma. Not going to be able to make this run. A snipe by Maniac going for the triple. He does it here, folks. These guys are playing out of their minds. First Nated. Now Maniac. Another one. What is this he doing? is insane. He is going for another one. You know he is feeling it. Power ups. That, that's their weak point. That's Envy's weak point. They have to figure out what their solution is there. This is 48 to 7, Golden Boy, and another three cap, making it 50 to 7. Picking up a huge triple. Can he get on the over? He can stay over this kill. Oh my gosh. This is why EG picked oh up this player goodness. right here. Suspector was the right pickup. 60 to 7 right now. If they win this game, they're going home the champions Stop here. Somebody he is not the stopping. He's going for the oh, double. No. Still alive. Goes for oh, another kill. God. Penguin with a nice flank. This is exactly where you want to be if you're Penguin. You control so much of the map by holding white corner. And now Ninja adding pressure. This is typically what we see CLG do to other teams. Oh. Ninja with the sick double kill. That was absolutely insane. Looking for that assist medal to come, and it does not. It's actually going to be Mikwin who will drive a bullet between his brain. Hop on board with Mikwin. He's going to push deep into the red cape. I just see someone's feet, and there it is. Nice. Mind the feet, find the face, down he goes. Yeah, and Mikwin tweeted out how he was a little upset <laughs> individually how he's playing and how he's kind of woken up now, and you can see that he's already gotten the combo and a couple headshots with that sniper rifle. And now look at Envy already running the flag. So I think that the question that I was asking before, which Envy's going to show up, has already been answered. These guys look so much better than they originally did. Look at Mikwin just going completely off. I can't imagine if they were playing like this against CLG, how much different the series would have been. So, um, you know, already a cap going over to Envy and, you know, E6 definitely wasn't expecting Envy to come out so hot. Mikwin, stop it. You saw from the Rocket previous, he pre-fired this one. They've got another run on the way, but look at where he is. He is supporting his teammates right now with this rifle. DMR comes out. Plenty of time to bring it back. Two players go down on either side. That's going to be a double kill. So three down now on E6. But look who's got the OS. It's going to be Kratos. He needs to do some damage here. Oh, oh my! Ninja coming out of Mick when he knows what he was doing. 
Sit down, Kratos. The OS is ripped. Now we can see them capitalize on this. The flag's been moving. Wow. Get right, Kratos. Let's find out who's going to be walking away as the summer season champions. Kicking things off with Frosty's POV. Frosty headed straight for the sniper, making a charge, picks it up immediately <laughs> and rips off Hook's face. Hook wanted that sniper, but Frosty's got other plans. Okay, nice. 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 One shot, Kratos. Or two shot guys. Can we collapse on Zerbon? He's he's a, he's a, he's a, he was actually rest in peace for Kratos. Now we're hopping on board with Frosty looking through that gap. That is a serious angle as we see Rockets. And he'll connect the shot as well. Oh my word! Oh and he gets the double! God. What an angle from Frosty! He found two faces, two bullets! Serious score of all. We did have a tie too on CTF Fathom. Now an opportunity to push into the base here. That was four dead temporarily. Miklo's gonna be the guy to sit there and lock that. That is such a big kill. There's the overkill. Looking for a little bit Going more. The, run. the kill tack. I think he got it. Did he get it? He did. That's a kill tackler Look at this on guy. stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, still, no, he's about to say he's double kill yeah, there yeah, from Stellar. Him. I mean, landing that double. Oh. And hits the airboard snap shot as well to boot. Evil Geniuses with incredible defense during that entire listen in. You heard their backs against the wall several times. They had one player alive. Envy cannot break the EG base even when they have three players dead. I mean, Snipe Down was going on a tear. Hit two, three shots. Oh, my <laughs> word! <laughs> Stellar answering Snipe Down's back saying, I, I know you can snipe, but I can snipe better. And he is ripping base. He's not even zooming in. One shot top snipe. Oh, nice, Carlos. Let me know if you're going to sneak in. He's our server. Our server going to cave. Our cave right now. Rockets. I got rockets. Our cave right now, guys. Monster. Oh, my God. Rockets on our window. Rockets on our window. One's our window, two shots. Their window. He's going to go out window, probably. Oh, man. Nice, Jesse. Get the Jesse. Their window. Get the Jesse. Watch your cave. Jesse, I'm at one. There's going to be a guy elbow, guys. I'm at third window. Try to watch the pyramid for you. Oh my god! Your server is raping! Our bottom rocket. Our scatter. Watch out, Sam. Nice. Nice. Let's go, Jesse! Where's the last guy? I'm top rockets. I'm top rockets. Let's go, Do it. I think they're spawn caves. Their window, man. They're caves. Tyler, go with Joey. Tyler, go with Joey. Don't push, Luke. Don't push, Luke. Yeah, one window. Nice. 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 Nice.
hitting that falling shot on Ace. Spartan Spree eventually taken down. Let's see what Comley can do with this power weapon to close out this game. Yeah, and straight, they just have to charge now. There's just not enough time not to. No time to sneak around oh just like God. that. When you're hitting shots like that, it's not looking good for you. Commonly pretty much sealing the deal here now with a triple kill, breaking Ace's ankles that time. But a little bit too aggressive as Hoop charges in by himself. Ooh, and Royal 2 picking up yet another kill here. This kid is absolutely insane. Of course, our only Canadian player here competing in the league, and oh my god, Tom! Double no-scope halfway across the map. So let's see if he can put this one to work. Still seven shots in his back pocket over here. Envy just catches on too quickly. Yeah, they really need pink control right now. And I thought he was going to shoot that fuel run. This could be it. This could be the oh oh my you, Is that the game? Tournament winning play. Frosty choked right there. That was so uncharacteristic of Frosty. Very nice positioning coming in. Frosty ends up just dipsy dueling around, but he smells it out. He gets a double kill with the fuel rod. Who Two. is clutching it? Two direct hits, and I'm pretty sure Frosty had the sword a moment ago. Potentially triple, though. Going to be a little bit too late for the triple, but either way, all you want is the kills. Not being able to get anything going here. And a 38-29, uh -oh. they're starting to build a bigger lead. Envious is looking in prime position to win the, or have a repeat of what we saw in HGS Las Vegas, but instead of against Liquid, going in, doing it against Optic Gaming. Two kills away. We have to switch back to who, who has definitely been the MVP. Picks up one. Can he find the other? One more kill for Envy. And Tom, Hook is 17 and 5 right now, and that's going to do it. Team Envies are your HGS Pro League Fall Season Champions. Helping out his teammate, and I like what I'm seeing here from Booby Dooby. Knew there was another player around the glass. Decides to push around and try and flank these players. Here comes the help of his teammate. Shots he going huge though with that sniper rifle. Falcate and cleaning it up. Make some sort of good push out if they want to have a chance of gaining this overshield. Well, they say that youngsters have no fear, and we can see that it's going to be Renegade versus oh! Shotzi! Shotzi with no fear whatsoever lands that headshot! Oh my god, that's... And I love seeing this rotation from Renegade. Great rotation, and I gotta give oh. a shout out to Renegade for the killing frenzy A killing now. frenzy from Renegade! I mean, it's something that you only really see with Neighbor with these rotations, just flying around the map, knows exactly where to look, waiting for the next sniper! 12 kills into this kill streak. It picks up another kill there Thank on goodness. Stella. That's 13 kills in a row yes. now for Renegade. No! Can he make it 14? Yes, he can. Get possession of it right away. Picked up around 329. So we'll see that come up in just a little bit. And look at Olaf playing this one out so smart. Oh, oh! hold that L, son. That was beautiful there. Pistola. That's going to be Sniper for all but a moment. Eliminated from the hands of Panda Gaming. One on one battle going here with Trippy and Straight Sick. Turns around. Oh! Oh! Gosh! What a ground pound from the gods! I'm just listening to the chant. The crowd's going wild, Mike. They only need seven more points, and Panda, they're going to the World Finals. They've got to get a hill. They've got to make it happen now. Trippy puts a stop in the player on There's next. There's two dead. They've got to move. There's two dead. they got to go for something. He's sitting back. And there we have it. I think unless something happens now, they do. They get a stop for a second. Double kill. Can we see it? Oh! What is going crap. on? They the, stopped it at 99. The room is actually shaking. People are going nuts here. They going double kill Trippy. Watch for the man behind you. Is he an idiot? Oh, Holy crap. My oh my god, Trippy. He gets the stop. But everything's still on the line. One point is so fragile. He's so, so fragile. Hoop with the rail gun. Can he get the player out of the nest? Nice job. They're gonna have to get the reset over there. Wow. Hoop finds the double. Can he hit the triple kill? That's gonna be the scattershot guy. Ground pounds his way to safety. Flies in. What a reset. My goodness. But it looks like BR wow. base now falls. What the hell was that? The 180 fadeaway. Kobe! Oh. And he gets the double kill. Almost goes for the coming out of Pine. Straight sick did not hear the call out, probably from Kratos, as he was. Battling with APG under the base and another one in front, but it looks like the flag is away. We're gonna have to see what Actually, kind of flag Nated. run is that Nated. from Nate? Holy cow, he's running it. This is the last cap. This is it. It's over. They get eliminated. Panda goes up four to two. How did Nate run that? I win. was just about to say Whoa. that was a massive mistake. Get it back in the base. Unfortunately, did not pan out for them. Snake bite, you mentioned Tom. The patience and the players. And just look at this teamwork, triple kill, he's all lined up. One, two, three, see you later, my friend. the play. over if he wants it. Ground, the please pump? get him, please get him. Yes, he does indeed. Snake bite with the overkill. Running the third and final flag.
This is why this man, right now, best player in the world, back of the net. Wow. We're only down by two, 920 remaining. Still everything to play for. Oh, oh you he didn't see him. Are Just serious? look at this. For real. Standing his ground, Royal 2. This is the real Predator right now. Now he's time to pounce, finds Respectful, wipes him out with the AR, turns around, Jim no. puts up the lift. No! He gets a face full of lead. Royal 2, two dude. What, what a genius. What a play. It's sort of Opti Gaming. The great oh. Oh. Sweet Jesus, mother of God. Respectful just lost his face. Oh, oh. are you serious? No. Stop, stop him. Stop, him. stop him. Oh, Somebody stop, him. stop this man. This is absolutely incredible. Does whiff too, but the damage is already done. No! no! Are you serious? What are is serious? going on? on right now. Oh, Royal 2 is not no, missing. Please. Look at this. He's just slowly... 8-1 <laughs> now the score. And, well, this is this is tough for Supremacy, man. They need to slow this game down. But as long as oh, they do that, no. Snipe Down is just going to hit those shots all day long. My word, this man is just a machine. Snipe Down by name. Oh! Snipe Down Stop by it. nature. Stop this right guy now. is Stop a down. pistol skin and get the kill with that gun instead. Well... Do you see what weapon he's got I in his back it, pocket here, it. Wall Sheet? Does that bring back any memories? Um, It brings back some great de dreams for me, and I'm not sure if it brings back some nightmares for T-Squared. Oh, man. Well, we've got a little bit of ammo left here in the Magnum for Hook, so we'll see if that Needler is going to come to use here in the Halo World Championship Finals. What a play. Yes. Hook, he's got the Needler. He's going for the kill. Does he get it? Yes. yes. For the killing frenzy. Hook with the Needler kill. He is still. Who has a sniper rifle and he okay. finds the face of Boo Boo Doo Boo and he is really going off. We've seen no scopes from him this game and we're seeing scope shots from baby, him as well. There it is. Okay, it should buy my friend. Woo! He'll find Shotzi as well. This is just easy picking. Straight. Guy, I'm gonna go three two up. <laughs> yeah. Woo! All around the map, and he's hitting everything. Stop him, somebody. There it is. They are gonna try take Nest here, and big kills coming out of both Shotzi and Boo Boo So Jimbo does get the reset. Actually, a huge reset because points still turning away. Oh, no. But Boo Boo oh. picks up a massive triple. Moe's gets absolutely points. pooped on. Let's be honest. Home with 50k. Oh my goodness! And look at that start from Mikwin and it didn't do anything. Ace and APG, the duo right here. And now that's a triple kill for APG. Woo! Yes, Camo, is it gonna be the over? Oh! Holy, perfect, don't stop, <laughs> please. Unreal, this, I love this strategy. Renegade with Railgun, you would oh! think that he actually charges in. No, he elects to block silo spawns. I don't know how who got over there. Where did this man come from? He just clutched it. Uh, that was a, in my Triple! opinion, guaranteed oh, no! Oh, Second <laughs> This is a turning a oh, game man. on its head, jumps up, pings Renegade in the face, down he goes. Another oh, player, man. one, two, reversal, thank you very much. Get the hell out of here, hi. Oh, there's no. another Not triple! Again. Please don't do Baby it again. Baby killing Hook. frenzy, Hook! You can hear the crowd going wild, flags in, we're all drawn up to a piece! Oh, holy crap, Sims. It is here comes the run, this could be the final one. You're hearing the crowd in the background. Mikwin with a double kill, make that a triple kill. Mikwin oh, could be a I think he's pretty no! much done it, and oh he gets it! God. Overkill, extermination! Two, one, two, three members though of Optic Kyle, they're all dead. And take a look at that, make that four down, a snipe down hits another headshot here. And oh! coming out strong, snipe down is on fire this entire day so far. Snipe down barely missing yet another shot, make that two. As he needs to thrust onto the Ooh, map here, make sure he doesn't fall off. He's still on, and then oh, you have no scope uh, going flying through the air. And Envious, they put a point on the ball. The dominance what's been happening in the Halo scene for quite some time now. Optic Gaming have been reigning supreme. This is Snipe Down's turn for vengeance. Obviously, last time at the Halo World Championship 2016, he got slapped around when he was on Evil Geniuses. Times are changing, however. Back over into the light rifle area. Some player shooting him from behind inside the base, but he does have a teammate there and his team captain shooter. Oh my god! Double no scope! 
takes down the OS guy. Cheeky beatdown as well on Stella. Eisen did not drop down to go for that flag recovery. I think some amateur players in certain cases should think, I have to get that flag back as soon as possible. No, most importantly, get the kills. You get the kills first. That flag oh, recovery is coming sweet with it. Christmas! Oh my goodness gracious, I cannot even believe it. Renegade, you need to stop. I gotta take a shower. It was so dirty. This oh, kid is a Lord. freak, following up with a perfect kill over at Blue Cave. But I'm somewhat concerned. His team stop. hasn't gotten over to pull this flag yet. Shotzi here has a player below him. He spotted this player going to sneak up on Nemesis Wait, no, kid. and Come on, put bro. him in to the dirt there with that back smack. Finds himself a railgun as well. So that not just a single kill there, but Shotzi finding himself that power weapon out of the hands of the player from OS and putting it to use almost immediately. Shotzi going to try and turn on this. Oh! Player. Shotzi takes down Ryan who's there with no shields whatsoever. But here on the other side, Renegade taking down Sub-Zero. He'll fall along the shooter. Oh! Oh. What a disgusting play from Rain. Rockets coming up in one second. They are up in Rain with another oh. headshot. Are you serious? Double kill for Rain. It's, it's kind of sad that we're expecting him to hit shots like that. Rain getting the foot shot, getting the bounce grenade over on Chauncey. He's just feeling it, keeping out that sniper the whole time. Top Gun medal, meaning he has 10 kills in the game. First one to reach that achievement. He's just on the prowl. Shotzi taken down again. So he was desperate right there. One of the members, then he goes up bottom of the base. Pistola sacrifices his life to put in that tying flag. We have a tie game here. 53 seconds. Next oh, pass wins. Who comes in with the triple and the reversal? Clears Optic out the base. Dave, we've got another flag on the run. He's on the move. How are you staying alive, Hook? He is caught off guard. He used all that TAC <gasps> mag ammo. I believe it's sniped down. Bringing Hook, the flag up the Hook, toilet. Hook. Bringing this final flag in, and that is a 3 2 victory. CTF Drew. Height right there, but this is why. Have the jump on commonly, and this really could help his team secure the Rockets. Commonly has to worry about this player instead of the Rocket oh, player. Oh, oh. Commonly, oh my lord, comes back with a reversal of my days. Demon destroyed. Triple kill comes in. Commonly looking for the over. He's got two people in the oh, corner. Baby. Overkill. Down they go. Line him up. Uh, quite a mistake in my eyes because he just gave away his position instantly. Right there, they knew there was a camel player over towards Blue Catwalk. And look at this play from no. Noob. Gets oh the stick, my. gets the double kill. What a play. Correct. They were unable to beat them in that championship bracket towards the end of the loser's bracket. They did go down to them. They played them multiple times. But now Shotzi with a double kill, moving into the base, trying to get this next flag going. They are not slowing up. Look at this, Shotzi. He's already got his teammate right here helping him out. Let's rally it back is what they're doing. One drops it off, he takes it. Shotzi is now watching some spawns and looks like he's getting ready for a fling. Some shots at top mid. Oh they're my. running the flag top mid. What <laughs> is happening? They're about to tie this game up and you've got a player flanking in behind them. Both teams, like you said, I mean, playing oh absolutely my so gosh, what fast. What did Shotzi just do to that player? He'll feed, he will actually stay alive for now, but. Royal 2 here is actually looking for Pistola, the cluster luck, two for one grenade right there, could be a triple if he doesn't choke and he doesn't, we'll get the sniper, no triple for him though, but Royal 2 with the snipe, you know what this means Kyle, he's going to be finding faces, see you later, who? Any members that were retreating from Red Nest over into Red Base, just an angle where in most cases as soon as you get shots those player, that player is going to run away and get away in red base. Sweet Jesus, mother of God, Renegade is slaughtering them. How is he allowed to do this? Triple kill comes in as well. There's the over. Can he find it? Not quite. There's another player as well. He is destroying them. How is this man even alive? They are not stopping. They are finding where these members of Optic are spawning and just charging them right off the spot into the fist. But you know what, Dave? We're less than two minutes in. We're all tied up two apiece. Renegade knows there's one player creeping and peeping around this corner. Brown, oh! Brown Town! Snake bite! Take a seat, my friend, because I tell you what, Renegade's on a rip tear, Dave. Yes, and as Renegade's going up on that spree, you see Boo Boo Doo Boo bringing that flag all the way back. To look for him to kind of anchor this position here, try to catch some of these spawners, immediately connecting with that headshot. He almost grabs a second one in the ankle there, gets the no scope, make that three shots, doing absolutely everything he can to help with this flag. And wait, what is happening here? Who's not popping out? You're ruining the event. I want to see an overkill.
That was ridiculously dirty there by Trippy. Still plenty of ammo left and not missing Silk. But Sub Zero was just trying to get that clean up onto Snake by still no pressure on over towards Royal 2 side. It makes me think that Team Liquid, oh, is just trying to rotate around towards the snipe side, and that's exactly what they did. Oh, and Stellar hits the no scope to make it a double on top of oh. the triple kill. Our MVP of their series so far, he has not been able to get anything going. And Optic Gaming, they are just running away with this one. And you saw, they didn't get up after that break. Oh. They stayed in their seat. Frosty ripping faces, takes down Sub Zero right there. This is just absolute destruction from Optic Game. Last player alive is gonna be taken down. This is another opportunity for a flag run potentially, but it looked like those Carbine Bubble Spawns might have been uh, blocked accidentally by the OS players. So now they're gonna have to pick up another round of kills. Now they're gonna run that flag. I love what I'm seeing from Ryan Noob. Look at this double might turn into a triple. Woo! Yes, he does. Can he get the over waiting for it? Let's see it. I'm not sure they're gonna peek out. The player just hit in the base. Wastes a lot of time though, but look at Ryan Noob. I'm so impressed with what he's doing. He's making the, he's playing the advantage every time, right? And another thing to look at here, you've got to think, what's the most annoying thing for Tilted Towers to have to deal with now? There's flags on the P side, there's a player under the base, you can't go for that. Day once again, I'm not sure if that flag has already like been reset. No, both flags are still out. I have no idea how Royal 2 managed to get away with a double kill there. That's huge! And the reversal on Pistola is just going to pump him up even more. And look at uh, Snakebite up there, just being uh, cautious, making sure, hey, is anyone around who's going to challenge these rockets? Looks like the case was no. That's because Saiyan was keeping it. Look at this, he's going to land down that. Ooh, looks like it should have been an easy nade. Snakebite dancing. Where is he? No hit markers on oh. either of those nades. Oh. And Snakebite and... PJ! Oh. That's... Oh, I mean, how I does to see he it. dance around those nades? Thing you've just seen there. TJ, top rockets did manage to get control of the rocket launcher, but has used both of the weapons. And oh, yeah, Frosty oh, ends the game with a disgusting no scope. Shotty will clear out. The player's moving and trying to traverse around that sniper platform. Goes for the one on one engagement with Frosty. They both thrust. Who's going to get the kill? Oh my oh, god. My oh god. my god. Jesus, he just. Optic Gaming, they got themselves a weapon. They have themselves a weapon. The player just. Death from above! Oh. Leaper! What's going on here? Turns two! around in the engine. His teammates there as well. You can see him on underpass. So the call out should come through. You should see a little kill in the kill feed. Oh my God. Good morning, Snakebite. And welcome to the party, my friends. Aggressive in here. He's going to get a fold. I don't He's... like that. No? Why? No, not at all. Right there, Stellar just gave away his position. He had a perfect flank behind the Optic Gaming roster. He had left his teammates out to drive for the last, you know, 10, 20 seconds. And because of that, he had a nice flank. When he grabbed that flag without getting any damage or any kills, he just gave up a free death. Lethal picking up a double, one comes flying through the air, that's a triple! Killing spree to boot as well, they know there's only one member of Splice on the map currently, oh my god! No way! Oh my god, it's rocket time, they're all coming through, Stella with a double gets the pull as well! How did he do that? How did Optic let him fly through that front window in that situation? Stellar was one of the last ones alive. They have the flag moon across the map and they know how to cut off that last member. They do not slip up in those situations. And right there, they slipped up. Splice takes advantage of it and gets the counter cap. This feels like a bouncer's roaming free in there. Yeah, and when you know the other team has that scatter shot, by the way, nice jump here from Neptune. Uh, getting up uh, through that back part of the tower. Not too many players are uh, consistent at that jump. And you know what? He's going to do it back-to-back -back times. I believe oh, no. Shotzi's oh, the no. only other player I've seen really make that jump consistently. <laughs> Double kill for Neptune. My god. Times and there's the overshield guy saying trying to make a play here. He does have some time to spare. Great shots on Arctic for the cliffhanger. He is going to contest onto the bottom middle. It is going to be the overshield guy. That's going to be all the players. Watch out. Watch out. Oh my god. He almost getting taken down. He and an does. RKO on the Sabinator, and he's going for the double kill. He gets it. He gets it. 97 gets the double kill, and you're going to see Saiyan play that down so perfectly. Back over in this Slice's hands. It's just taking so long for them to get this. Look at this. It is just ready to get Captain Team Envious. Gets the reset while Shotzi's getting the triple kill. So so here you have it. Frosty with the shotgun in hand. One. Manages the nail one, but that's going to lead to the double kill. Looks at the lift. Finds one, nails him for the triple kill. And these are just, this is just support from his teammates early on. Don't Gets the overkill. Don't, not on those oh, shields. No. Oh, oh my god. god. Musa.
The flag is getting pulled right now. Lunchbox, and that's a headshot on Ace as he shuts him down. A body shot, double kill. Now looking for the triple kill, trying to find this player underneath the base. It is going to be Lunchbox. That's a triple. Now going on for the overkill. Oh. But he can't get the kill. Tacular, as he didn't know, that was going to be set up for it. Two are such better strongholds. Uh, you get better spawns outside. You can work together with teammates. Like, for example, you can hold a position like Whitehall and easily have an effect on both base and, and nest. Right now, snipe down, absolutely shutting down three members of Renegades. Grabbing the overkill, extermination, going for the kill, Tacular, but no one's going to give him the clip. Not even going to waste it, going to save it. And there he is, already saying what snipe down, whatever he said. Into our game number two, we're going to start off from the point of view from Frosty, and he's going to hit a nice headshot here on Spawn. And I guess the double no one, the triple way. from Frosty, oh. the overkill. Frosty, that's how you want to start a championship Sunday. Oh, Frosty. Trying to get a nade on this player. He gets the hit picks. Two players up at top rocks. Oh, wow, he hits the headshot oh. and the double kill. The rocket's gone down. Who's going to be picking those up? It looks like it's going to be Stella. Stella performance. Rocket goes down. Easy kill from him. They're going to mop that one up. And now the spawning cave. If he kills Mick one here, that's absolutely freaking disgusting. That will allow them to move the flag. Rockets are just going to sit there as the bodyguard. Nobody's getting across sniper side. If they've got a player moving across to the snipe side, that should be 2-0 in the bag, day. Still able to prevail. Stellar picking up that slack. Gain that three kills and that flag run. Oh! No Oh my God! Jesus Christ, Eric Ronap! It's just splice knowing how to maneuver around so quickly and hard to track down. Oh my! That was disgusting. God, I don't want to run into Penguin ever, and I definitely don't want to run into him with camo and rail and scatter in his pocket as well. I bet he's gonna pick up this kill. Yes, yes, he does. How are you, how are you gonna challenge this guy when he has all these weapons in his hand? You know, he picks up the double kill here. Gonna pick up a reload as well. Can you turn it into three? Player doesn't jump out, but it doesn't matter because Penguin takes down Ray. Three full to Penguin and Reciprocity are rolling right now. If someone get this guy some ammo. He used use every he single bit he had in that run. scatter and that rail. Oh, 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 here as well Penguin. for the killing spree. The amount of time is easy just to body people several times. This is a great start. Neptune straight off the barrel. He rotates round, gets the flank, takes out one. Frosty the answers back. That's a triple from Frosty. Can he find the over? There it is. Overkill, the first one of the weekend. Frosty smell blood, he's looking for more. And just, Rail gun damage all over, baby. And just to be clear, Frosty, it was Sims calling you out. I honestly had nothing to do with that. I, uh, I did not agree with anything he said. Piss off, dude. You can't from your bus like that. You can't. The man just got overkilled. I'm just taking away from him. Picks up the kill, he's free, finds he's another here. one. He's just tearing them apart. We call this one just around the corner, the Royal 2 area, because of the disgusting work that he used to do in the early iterations of Halo 5. Frosty, please stop this immediately! Why are you doing this? Somebody stop this man! This is... This is Championship Sunday level of play, not Friday. My voice can't take this. The dude is a freak, man, and not not the kind of freak that I was called out in high school, man. It's just the, the moves he's making, the plays he's pulling off here is unbelievable. It's totally Sims. I, I thought we were friends to be <laughs> but quite clearly no longer. One player does step up to the plate. It's going to be APG. Oh, please, no scuffing. Oh, my. Oh, my. What? No, 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 no. I don't know what to say anymore, man. It's no, like... No, no, no. Is it weird that I wasn't surprised that he hit that? I... The man has a reputation for hitting all these shots. This is fair. This is... This is... You don't want to be giving up some of those free kills, and unfortunately, Frosty gets that kill on Lunchbox before he's able to get that flag across. This flag's dead in the water in my eyes. 38 to 28. So they brought this back a little bit. Triple kill comes through. Frosty looking for a second over of this event! Event of the series! Boo hits that body shot. Sabinator once again. He's actually found a triple kill Sabinator here. So last player alive, but Boo Doobu answers back with a double of his own. Just when a big play happens for Elevate, it's shut down immediately by Boo Boo Doobu hitting those couple of shots. Yeah, you couldn't have said it better right there. I mean, look at this. Now landing shots all the way to the fountain. Unfortunately, they just got caught on the flag stand. That, that little momentary stop there. Michael's a little bit of a problem. Has stopped that flag run. So 
little tiny moments like that oh, geez. make things a little bit more difficult, but Booba Doobie is making life very difficult for Elevate here as he's picking up another nice double kill with this sniper rifle. Gotta give credit to Arctic who went for a, a risky return out on the DMR. He's able to get that flag back, so that's going to buy his team a little bit of time to reset and give him one more chance. Keep in mind, this is do or die for Elevate. If they let this Woo! next flag go in, that'll be it, but if Boo Boo keeps hitting these shots, it's going to be nearly impossible. Three dead here for Elevate. The respawn is coming oh in! Boo Boo Doo Boo lighting up the main stage here in Seattle. Another kill for him. Make it two. Will he make it two eventually? He does. Now he's looking for more kills. The flag's moving back though, and Envious close out the series. And now taking a look as it's going to be, like you said, Maestro now trying to get uh, this stop here, but it's just a pretty casual toss that came out. I think they're going to get the return. Maybe not. Let's see. That was a big flag, oh, and it no. worked. And the flag is still going to be continued from Ryan. Dude, that was going to be three players dead for Maestro Gaming. They're not going to go for the base race. This is only flag number one going into the hands of Oxygen Supremacy. But like I said, Ryan Noob had three members of his teammates dead. He just pulled the flag as a distraction. That sent three members of uh, Maestro Gaming just to go contest that. But it was just Ryan Noob. That's another Ryan Noob play, right? Toss the flag out. Gets not only that first kill, but gets help on the second kill of P2. And just moments before, if you were watching that return timer, a millisecond, well, millisecond possibly, easy. definitely less than one second before the flag returns, he gets the touch and he brings it back. A single-handed effort from him. His team helps him get it back again. But once again, Ryan Noob making plays that are really making a difference. Uh, killing spree already. And look at that. The flag is in front of him. It's a 2v2 at the moment. That was a 2 for 2 trade. Batford's going to melee too soon in that fight. Going to pay the price. But look at this. The a counter flag cap is aware. Now Ryan Noob realizing he's fighting two people. He's going to have to back down. Rain does go down in trade of two Foxy. But Ryan Noob already aware that these teammates are looking looking for him inside the base. I mean, look at this. He's being so obnoxious. They still haven't been able to double back for him. He's just popping up. Look, he's going to put a shot oh, against the player game. weak. Now he drops down. He's going to stay alive even longer. Oh, my oh God. My it's gosh. still staying alive nope. as he's going to be getting taken down finally. Trying to get behind reciprocity at the moment. To be fair to Maestro Gaming, I'm impressed with how much they are delaying this game because reciprocity could just go all out and absolutely smash through this Maestro lineup. But we've got some good players on the Maestro team. Ramirez, Foxy, they've been at World Championships oh before, but they can't God. do anything. Gilkey trying to stay alive, realizes all of his teammates just fell down, and now he's just got to be a player to get behind enemy lines. This is such a good location, too. I love the fact that he lets the first one slip by, gets the back smack over on APG, lays down some shots on the catwalk, and that's going to also create an opportunity for his teammate who's flanking over on Rocket side. We can see a flagpole here any moment. Takes the sniper, the snapshot to the face of Neptune. Sit down, keep it moving. They are in control. Wise Gaming trying to move up. Another one. Gilkey is on fire. And now they're running the flag. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Gilkey luckily able to pick off Lunchbox, though, as he was trying to move that flag across the bridge. That was a scary situation. Nebula, however, had a death off the map. Didn't seem like he was shot beforehand. He's going to try to steal overshield in about three seconds. He gets spotted. Oh, he's down and dead. Then it fully set up. Both teams have their eyes on it. Who is that going to go to? I'm actually looking across the board. Has anyone managed to pick it up yet, or he's still there? Oh, he's going to be reversal. Up. That's a big kill. The snake like the one's there. That's a double. That's huge. Frosty single handily just smashing him left, right, and center. One more bullet. Jeez. Reversal. Killing spree. My word. And just in case he didn't get that kill, you had Snake by coming up the nest lift as well. Now look at this, they're up 46 to 38, and boy, did they ever play that last overshield well. Whoa, no. Oh, boy. No, no, no. Oh, no. no. Needs to be careful here. I'd like to see him back off because he is going to get drilled from the opposing side of the map. Hits the rock side down in grass. Moves to Mikwin. Mikwin's there to support him. This is nice. That's, That's such a great rotation, because Snake White was oh behind. Word. Snake White was the player that was behind him in Red Rocket Corner, so Snipe Down just gets all the way no! out and gets the better of him. Look at that. No! Such a great rotation from Snipe Down with a double kill. Love to rotate this weapon across the map and just stay alive. And when Saiyan's ripping faces like that, keep in mind, he's already got more kills than he had last game here to start this one off. And Saiyan's still just hanging back, but he's got to figure out what he's going to do here because Red X is all over the place. It doesn't matter. Stellar taking one to the face. He goes down and now Saiyan making a good rotation, continuing. Going up by two in the series. Yeah, and this is just a tough situation to be in. Similar to the last game. Renegades are starting to feel the squeeze. They're starting to say, all right, well, this one's pretty much over. Not sure what we can do in this one. Might have to look forward to game number three. See Mikwin here just predicting these spawns. Saw one player. His teammates already cleaning up the kills. Here goes Mikwin! Oh, 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 my God. That's how you end the game, Austin. A few hard scopes here on the back flag. 
Knows those players are traps. Hits one there on Ace. Looking for the second on APG. Mikwin again showing what he can do with the sniper rifle. Now, can they convert this into another flag cap? Afterwards, he'll likely revert over towards top snipe side if none of these players are pressuring him. It looks like he's got some pressure. But he takes that pressure off himself as he hits a nice no scope on lunchbox. Do not challenge this man right now because he is not missing. Now relocating, making another one for Mikwin. I warned you. Look how much more comfort the reciprocity team has as they move across the map. Every other time we've seen Renegades POV, they're just timid, they're sitting back. <laughs> they just walk right into Stop. every single little trap. Now the one point I wanted to oh make right my. there was, uh, first off, Mikwin doesn't need a scope. He just doesn't. He, oh he, my he what he wants god! Ubend is getting transferred. Oh, he sees the OS guy. The OS guy sees him, whips out the rockets, get the beat down. He gets the stick oh, and no! he absolutely destroys him! That is Pistola at his finest, right? He takes his time on that overshield battle, then gets the melee. This is it. They can run it in, and this should be 2 0, provided no Mikwin. mistakes actually happen. Oh, Mikwin, Mikwin needs to get Look the kills. Mikwin and Snipedown need to work together to get these kills here. They haven't captured just yet. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh! Eric Rona! You need to get this kill as well. Overkill! What a time to do it! He steps up! It's the perfect four dead! Snake Bite knows there's people creeping below, so they have to be very, very careful here. He finds them both above him. They should collapse down. Oh my word. He takes one. <laughs> he takes two. Now take a look at the bottom right of your screen. Tox, 95 points, only five more they need. Splice here needs 10 points, and they're currently scoring an overshield in hand. And look how aggressively they're pushing as well. Trying to clear out this space. They get the reset as well. Renegade has. Oh no, he got taken out with the camouflage. It's all up to Stella now. Has a 1v1 in the pit. Oh it looks gosh. like Tox are going to convert this. Do they get the points on the board? They don't. The reset comes in. Oh my gosh, what a reset from Splice. Only oh, four points nice. Goal. Shotzi! Triple kill to save the game from Shotzi! Two points away! The young god closes the game out and it's gonna be 3-0 to zero to Splice! Sometimes I think to a fault. Sometimes maybe he, he was a bit too, uh, you'd almost argue, like oh. selfish or something like that. And greedy oh. pushing back. Nice double kill there from Snakebite. Looking for the triple. There you got it. And looking for another one as well. It's going to get challenged around the corner. And, oh. Oh, don't even bother. Don't even bother. Let's see if anyone's going to try and cross forward there. But, well, you know, I would say what looked like it was going to be a surefire push. Oh, my Lord. Uh, what looked like it was going to be a surefire push. First Tox kind of slowed down, but he goes for the triple kill. Get it. just doesn't want to hear it anymore. Go Get it. Goodness gracious me. He's got another one in the book. Looking for his fifth one. He's on a rampage here. Two down for straight ripping and Saiyans in a prime position to use that sniper rifle. Takes down, destroyed. Three oh. players pushing into the base. That's a double kill. Another player spawns by the cape. Make that a triple. He's looking for the over. The player oh! going up to Top Rock. Takes him down for the overkill. Saiyan says sit down. Going for the kill tag. Just for a little bit, but now it's going to be all four. Four, four, knotted up here. Oh, my, my work. Shot. Great. Raindrops. He Looking is for just another destroying one. Destroying right now. Those are great shots. Pushing up where he needs to be. But one thing that's scary is running Renegade, oh. but he takes him out. That is a killing spree for Rain. You're going to be able to easily drop down, get near a teammate, get some cover, and having that height advantage is so, so powerful. So we're constantly seeing players go up top, Shotzi. You don't want them to come back behind them. They have to force them to go through the doorways. But now two players of Trifecta are going to collapse onto L-Town, who wasn't able to hold them off. Let's see, though. Never mind. Musa, the tank with the triple kill, baby. He has been amazing this game. They've just been racking up more and more time. Musa in the fight here. What a oh, monster! You, had, you can't let him do that, man. Elevate want to see if they can close this game out right here. But Trifecta need one more cap, and then we're going to go to game five. Yeah, one cap is going to decide this one right here. We saw a strong Woo! start out. Trifecta doing really well to secure Nest there. Splice, they were caught up in the action. They were caught up looking for that one player. And it just allowed Tox to use that distraction to get into Nest. But Renegade is just not missing at the moment. He's going to oh take this fight. Gosh. He does hit the shot. It is a trade. Instead, Splice, they're going to benefit from this moment. They're going to get aggressive. Shotzi uh, behind the back lines here. Killing Frenzy for him as well. He's been amazing all tournament. He finds the triple. What a shot. Shotzi on! He is absolutely incredible in this game! Shotzi has that player on his radar, but back. Double back on himself. Some nice shots on Stella. Stella. Oh, oh my god! god. 
Ah, Stella! Get what? put on his back, Frosty, you animal! That's the exact angle that Frosty wanted to force that challenge. Incredible shooting from him, not what you'd expect from Stellar. Again! Killing spree from Frosty. Tox, they're going for a pull of their own. That was the only player. Shotzi was the only player alive. They're gonna get the reach in here. There's no way. Oh my gosh! Somehow sneaks through Hut there. So the flag is not back yet. Still too dead for Splice. Royal 2. Gonna be working with Lethal here. He's gonna have to do all of the protection work. Here's the body shot. Can he finish this one off? Yes, he can. In the meantime, Snake Bites putting the flag in while Royal 2 is going wild in ring. My gosh, a huge shout out to Wonder Boy for letting us see that entire multi kill. Points for the majority of this game so far. However, if Splice can get a triple cap, you know just before you can say game over, the Renegade's gonna pick up a triple. The guys on Tox be very strategic in their aggression. If they do have an advantage that they need to push, they need to go oh in my push that. Word. My gosh, Snakebite connecting DJ. across the map under pressure. Look at this, Snakebite still connecting. Oh, PJ! Uh, your bonk. I'm going to get a pillar bond. Go and arch up. Arch up two shots. Two shots are jump up. Tap here. I will. Archers, one shot, I will. Nice. To the court. To the court. To the court. They're both bond. Both bond ring one. I want. One more. One more ring one. Ring one. Got him. Dead. Two dead. Nice, Brad. Let's go. I rock. Let's see how this one goes. Magical steps up. They're trying to flood this one out, but two of them fall victim. And it's the flag bearer who is the one doing the damage. She drops the flag. Obviously, he'll know like he's mine. Somebody's on respawn. Look at that grenade. That's amazing. He throws the flag, tells his teammate to pick it up off spawn, goes in with a grenade, gets the kill. His teammate's behind him. This should surely be a cap. Yes, should. And I like how slow Neptune is playing this. He decides to flank under the base. Looks like Neptune wow. does get the kill on Noble, gets the kill on Drip, sits on the recovery, and that's going to be a triple kill. The recovery and game number one going to Renegade. For a moment, we had two snipers in the hands of Splice, but that is slowed down as we're going to see that sniper picked up right now. A sniper battle between Penguin and Shotzi. Now, this is everything that Shotzi wants. He has a play one player at least on the respawn. Finds Mick when sliding into ring. Going to hit another shot here onto the player behind him. The triple kill here for Shotzi. He's looking for the race oh mourners, and he finds it. We're talking about him being quiet. Welcome to London, Shotzi. What a start from him. We saw a little bit of shakiness in that first game one, but I think he's shaking those nerves straight off. Great opening overkill for him as he's now up on rank three, continuing to rain down damage. Destroying oh at the moment. Shotzi is a man on a mission. He did not enjoy that game, number one. It'll be very surprising here to see this one thrown oh away. His Renegade just peels Penguin off of the bottom of the carbine. Surprising to see Penguin checking that angle. Oh Whoa. my oh my what? goodness, you could not ask for a more even sniper battle as the two snipers trade with one another. This could well be a cap if they can get this one through the maze. And look at this, tries now, I believe, two dead for both sides. So a 2v2 here, the next few kills will determine whether or not this flag goes oh, in. Oh, big back smack there coming in. APG was so close to getting that return. Shotzi picks up the triple. He moves the flag home. Splice, never count them out. They're gonna win the series three to one now. And there's three players from Tox current in the snipe side of the map because he Stella's pushing up. He has no fear whatsoever. He hits the body shot, cleans it Jeez. up, and now Stella hits the headshot as well onto Frosty. Another player's gonna be in front of him. B, stop it. That's a triple kill. No mistakes left in this game as Frosty once again removes a player from the map for a few moments. That was three dead momentarily again, so the, con the control and the aggression continues from Tox. Look at the shots that we see Frosty hitting there. Fadeaway jumper, but he flies back into his rocks, picks up a kill on the flag carrier, and oh then also my. kills another player. Oh, Look at this Frosty, Frosty with a double. Stella put on his back. Tox being put on his back at the moment. Frosty has stepped up massively in this game number four. Are you kidding me? Oh, Look at this. Shotzi. Welcome to Frosty Town. Things have changed on set. Things have changed. Penguin also getting fancy with some jump stars. He's gonna take around. Mick Winston. Oh to my God, Mickwin! Are you kidding me? That's what I want to see here in Atlanta. Leave it all out here, Mickwin. Two beautiful snapshots there to take down those players. That's how you stop a push. That would be the first time I've gotten full body chills from a series of two rapid fire snipes in quite some time. I don't even know how he saw that player on blue stairs. He's still alive. His team is still racking up points. And Mickwin, do it. Oh, what Mick he does best stays alive. This is what I want to see, Austin. This is the 
Jason Mikman, who I wanted oh. to see turn up in the finals here. Unfortunately for everyone apart from Shock the World, he's out of sniper rifle ammo. The killing spree comes in, and he's still alive somehow here, if Andy. He, if he stays alive here, oh my gosh, he might get away. He's still alive. How is he alive? They can't stop him. He's, he's going to get come this back. kill oh, as well. another kill. Are you kidding me? As well, he's getting really aggressive onto these mentality esports guys. Fantastic shots coming in from Snake Bite as well. Should get another easy double here. Last players on the fountain uh, on the pyramid, sorry. Smartly backs down though, doesn't give that away, but oh now my gosh. PJ! Put him on his back! Oh my word. I think anyone who saw PJ going for that lift. Snipe down was a little overextended towards court side, but he wasn't, you know, fully overextended into the ring or such once they had control of both snipes. So I feel like they're being a bit more wise with the power weapons. Oh! Pistol is just dominating. You know he is just feeling on fire with the sniper. Showing no mercy. Royal 2, sit down. Here we go. Snipe down. This is like his montage. Yeah, look how aggressive his positioning is with a sniper rifle, though. He is just going into the opposition base and saying, I will face anyone and I will put shots in. Pistol is there to finish it off. Oh, this from my gosh. He is unstoppable. You cannot stop Snipe down saying, Gets the final cap! Yeah, Snake Bite's the one making the push in. And now Frosty's gonna hit the shot on Snipe down as well. 26 to 25. Every single shot that Frosty has to hit has such incredible pressure on it when they are in this standoff position. He's just hit two headshots. He's dropped another shield. And oh now gosh. Frosty is putting on a show for Atlanta! You gotta be kidding me. This is what I'm talking about. Frosty opening up the map oh with the body shots. The kills in his own base. You'll be picking up kills halfway up the map in, the, in your opponent's base. Frosty now picks up one, finishes the kill on Saiyan, finds two onto Trippy. And you just know that he's hunting, listening to call outs, looking for that beautiful little triple kill. The worst thing about playing against Frosty on any map, but especially Coliseum, is you are safe nowhere. Even when you think you're fighting a 1v1 battle towards your rocket corner, Frosty has his oh eye on you from the DMR. Killing spree for Frosty.